All right, so the last part of the exploring the lab environment is exploring Kali VM, exploring our Kali Linux virtual machine. So here, what we are going to be looking at is just simply how to log in to our Kali VM and just get a good understanding of what Kali is. So first things first, we can either go to resources. We can either click resources to take us back to our Kali VM, or we can just click Kali. So I would prefer to click Kali. Now this is going to load up. And one thing to keep in mind, if you are not actively using your Kali VM, it can time out on you and you'll have to enter this username and password over. All right. And one thing about the Linux machines or another thing about the Linux machine, you have to manually type in the username and password. Okay. So the username for our Kali machine is root and the password is password. Instead of control alt delete here, we have to drag this screen up. So I'm going to click and drag up. Type root as my username. Password, capital P, A, dollar sign, dollar sign, lowercase w, o, or zero, r, d. Going to check off my progress. That's familiar. Let's become familiar with this layout. So right here, we're going to have some applications. Well, first of all, Kali Linux is an operating system, as we can see, that comes pre-built with a lot of penetration testing tools or network analysis tools or social engineering tools or forensic tools. And one of those tools or a few of them are right here on our dash. This one here is called our dash. We have Firefox, Wireshark, ZenMap, which is a GUI version of nmap we have metasploit armitage burp suite Ettercat, different pen testing tools all right we can check our network connection up here okay we can see what we're connected to we can get into the details of that and really analyze it if we wanted to um, you can definitely play around with this if you want now we're going to right click this desktop and open the terminal. Okay, the terminal for a Linux operating system is similar to the command prompt for a Windows operating system. We can right click the desktop and hit terminal, or we can just hit the terminal right here on our dash. Right here. It's kind of dark. All right, and then we're going to type in IP. Well, IP dash A, I'm sorry, IP space A. And it's going to give us our IP address, which is right here, 192.168.2.192. Right. And finally, the rest of our Linux VMs or the rest of our VMs, these are the Linux virtual machines. They're actual virtual machines for our routers. All right, these operating systems are using special operating systems that allow us to route traffic. Okay, we can log into these if we want to. We see the username and we see the password for each of them. All right, they are Linux based. So you will be logging into the back end of a Linux machine. All right, another tool here is called PFSense. This is something we're going to access from the front end, from a GUI. Okay, this is a tool. It's a UTM. And as we all know, that UTMs are all in one devices. It could be a proxy and an IPS in one device. And then another tool that we're going to be playing around with is Security Onion. Okay, security onion. We're going to interact with this from the GUI. 
all right? Um, and we definitely will play around with that in, 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 in a different lab. Okay, and finally we have our LAMP server and another CentOS server or CentOS. Um, LAMP, this is an application or distribution that's installed. It can be installed on, on, on a variety of operating systems, but here we have it installed on our Ubuntu server. Okay, and LAMP comes with a variety of different services, like a SQL service, a web service, PHP, right? Um, you, can, you can set up different services with LAMP, okay? Uh, such as this DNS service here and an email service. So this server is obviously gonna be a server of multiple hats, okay? And then we have an extra Linux server here that we have intentionally made vulnerable. And we'll be playing around with this as we go throughout our labs. All right, so exploring the lab environment, this first lab in lab was pretty much about getting you familiar with the lab environment and how to navigate from different virtual machines and how to use the shortcuts. Hope you have a good time playing around with the labs.